right, today we're going to do thickened liquids. Thickened li liquids are what we do to any liquids for somebody that has a swallowing difficulty. Now, a swallowing difficulty means that the person is choking or gagging, or the liquids might be chronically seeping over the top of the epiglottis into the uh, trachea. Now what the deal is, is you've got your trachea here in the front and you've got your esophagus here in the back. And on top of your trachea is a flap called the epiglottis. The epiglottis covers the trachea and food slides right over the top of that into the esophagus. But because of chronic smoking, because of sore throats, because of trauma, there could be a hole or an area that liquid could sleep, seep down. And that goes right into your tracheas, right into your bronchioles, right into your lungs. So what we want to do is we want to help our uh, uh, people make sure they can swallow. It goes into the esophagus and there isn't chronic aspiration. To do that, we have to thicken liquids, okay? What's going to happen is you're going to notice your resident coughing or <clears throat> clearing their throat or not being comfortable while they're eating. Your job is to report it to the nurse. She, in turn, will get the speech therapist to do an evaluation. The speech therapist will come right next to the resident while they're eating and evaluate them as they're eating. She'll give them thickened liquid, she'll give them watermelon, she'll give them tomato juice, she'll give them different things to see how their swallowing goes. She'll make the diagnosis and the evaluation. Now the speech therapist has to get a doctor's order to change the diet and that's all behind the scenes and that's her job and responsibility, okay? But your job is to know who is on thickened liquids, to know that every single thing they drink all day long is thickened to the consistency that has been ordered. So that's what I'm going to show you today is how to make uh, the fluids, the liquids, the right consistency. Why I'm thinking about it, I want to remind you, if somebody, if you're brushing somebody's teeth and you want to rinse their mouth out, you cannot use the water from the faucet you have to use the thickened liquid for them to rinse their mouth and to spit because if any liquids go down into their lungs and they start coughing or gagging or they get aspiration pneumonia, you're going to be held responsible. So it's, it's just absolutely uh, very, very important that you know. And how do you know that? You ask. You ask the nurse, you ask the nurse aide, or you read the diet card. The diet card will say thickened liquids, and it will tell you what consistency. There are three different consistencies. The first one is nectar. That's a thinner. It's kind of like a tomato juice or maybe an apricot juice, kind of thick but not too thick. The next one is honey-like. Mm, that one's pretty thick. And the next one is pudding like, and that's just yo like yogurt or um, pudding that you eat with a spoon. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate these three so you can understand. Most of the time, the dietary department serves liquids thickened, but if they ran out, if there was a special, like they don't have thickened Coca-Cola, a thickened 7-Up, we could do that for the individual, okay? So the first one is, a uh, four ounce cup of water, and this is thicket, okay, thick and easy. We get these uh, from the dietary department, and usually there is a chart right on the back that tell us how much thickener we have to put in a four ounce cup of water. This one actually says that we need to put a tablespoon in. This is a teaspoon, this is a tablespoon. So, we're gonna have to measure it out perfectly, okay? and put it in here, after you put it in, you're going to want to make sure you stir because it will clump up. And you stir for about 15 seconds, it says. And you can see that this liquid is getting thicker. Okay? And it's changed color a little bit, hasn't it? 
So what's happened is the molecules in the water have coagulated, which means they've come together. So as they go over the top of that epiglottis, they all stick together and they end up right in the esophagus where they're supposed to. If it's just regular water, the molecules go all over and they can seep into the trachea. So this is exactly uh, what nectar thickening is going to look like. Usually the straw doesn't stand up too good. It starts to fall, just so you know. Okay, that's nectar. The next one we're going to do is honey-like, and that says that you need to put one tablespoon in and one teaspoon in for uh, honey-like. That's a lot of thickener in that little thing, isn't it? In that little cup of water. And you can see that it's getting thicker right off the bat. One of the most important things you have to do when you put thickener in is keep stirring. You don't want a lot of chunks in there. And you can see this is more honey-like. Like loose applesauce. This one is like water, thickened water. This one's more like honey-like. So then the next one, it says that we need to put uh, one tablespoon and two teaspoons in here. That's one tablespoon and two teaspoons. Make sure you're stirring. Okay. And this one's going to be a lot thicker. See that this is really going to thicken up, just like pudding, thicker than yogurt, really. So these are the three. This one act actually has to be fed with a spoon, okay? Actually, this one, if the person has a lot of suck power, they can drink this, or you can pour this out. But this one, if you can't at all, okay? So this is nectar. This is honey, and this is pudding light. Um, again, the dietitian orders, the doctor signs the order. If somebody has nectar light, they have to have their liquids thickened. They can never have regular uh, liquids to drink. If you, by accident, make it a little bit thicker, that's just fine. But I want you to think about this. If somebody has honey light, you can never make it nectar-like. It has to be that thick because what's happening is maybe their hole or their epiglottis doesn't fit at all and it takes a lot more thickness to go over the top and slide into the esophagus. The same thing with this. They would have to have pudding-like, okay? So it's so important you understand whatever the order is, they need it. You can never go thinner than what it is. And if you gave them regular liquid, they could actually choke to death on it, and you would not want to be held responsible for that. So that is Thickened Liquids, and that's how we do it.